So do you guys know what's missing from Hearts of Iron 4? Well, I'll tell you what, it's Bosnia. Bosnia has been excluded from Hearts of Iron 4 just because they didn't exist as an independent nation in 1936. Doesn't mean they have to be excluded from the game at the start date as a playable nation. But now we can play as Bosnia, and not just normal Bosnia, we can play as Bosnia with a focus tree, I know. It's pretty cool, it's pretty nice. Yeah, this focus tree is decently blessed, you know, there's the pan-Islam branch where we can make a faction with Albania and Turkey. Invite the Arab world. That's- this sounds like a good idea. I, I feel like this could have some potential, you know? Inviting everybody. Iraq. Abdul Aziz, Yemen, and Oman. I feel like that could be pretty fun. We'll sign these accords. Okay, we'll see where this takes us. So I'm doing the economy branch. It's a decent branch. I'm getting a few civilian factories, some nice buffs, and then I'll be able to do the new Bosnian economy focus and get minus 10% consumer goods, which is a nice little benefit. I don't know. Kind of sucks though, because the path we're going down never really gives us a war goal against Yugoslavia, it looks like, which I feel like is kind of a problem maybe and we're having regional stability issues which is kind of a given but yeah we still have to deal with them so I guess we should start with that just really confused about what we're supposed to do because we only have two states that are going to get filled up pretty quick this focus does say that it may trigger a series of events to combat the Chetnik movement since it's in red though it makes me think that there might be some sort of civil war or something I'm just gonna go along with it because this national spirit is really bad but Okay, now this guy's in charge of our country. Interesting. We're no longer democratic, too. Interesting. This guy's in charge of Turkey. He looks pretty nice. Nice, and Turkey joined our faction. I don't really know how they're gonna help us defeat Yugoslavia. And we can't really invite Bulgaria, so we would have to invade Bulgaria, I guess. But it'd be kind of stupid to invade Bulgaria first. And France is guaranteeing Yugoslavia, so that's annoying. We really just need more states to build more factories in. No, I, I can't let Turkey steal my faction leadership. Yeah, this is a great faction, you know? It's like all the countries that aren't involved in the war have decided to team up Plus us and Albania, I guess, who were involved, kind of. We're involved because our puppet masters made us be involved. But now we're free, and now we're gonna do whatever we want. And America is having its second civil war. Very fun. Nah, today one member of our faction has been lost. Albania just decided to get deleted, and now is just part of Italy, so. We'll save Albania one day. It would have been a bad situation to get into, to be at war with Italy. We need to deal with the colonial powers first. And that's why why, you know, it's about time that we go to war with Yugoslavia. It's it's about that time. France is sidetracked with this thing, so maybe they won't even join against us. But if they do, then that's just a good excuse for our friends to, you know, start taking some of their territory. Ah, and this is perfect. Our mission to get compliance in Yugoslavia resulted in 45% compliance, which is really good. That'll be really nice once we take them out. And this did result in a war with France, but yeah, this is, we, we planned for this. We knew this might happen. And the AI is probably confused with like where to put their divisions because of, you know, us being in this place. Wait, why is New Zealand our ally? Wait, what? Oh, as our enemy. Oh, France joined the Commonwealth, ah. Canada's already a major, so the war is already gonna go on forever, but yeah. I guess Yugoslavia's not in a faction. Maybe if we hurry fast enough, we can get a peace deal with them. And they capitulated. Oh, and look at that. That's that's a great Bosnia right there. Ah, oh. why isn't Turkey in the war? Oh, they're democratic and they don't want to join an offensive war. Oh, hmm. Disappointing. I guess Iraq will just take Syria. <laughs> anyway, I guess we better start occupying Yugoslavia. We got that compliance, but they're still not completely happy with us. I guess Bulgaria is probably our main enemy just because they're in the way of Turkey, even though Turkey refuses to join our wars. Oh, never mind. Now they're in our wars. Actually, the Confederacy just joined Germany's side. They're technically on Germany's side just because the United States is on France's side. So if the Confederacy does good enough, they could capitulate capitulate Canada and end the war, assuming that we capitulate France and stuff. So this could be good. And we're breaking into Czechoslovakia for the Germans. Really can't afford them losing here. And we really need to win in Europe so we can help our allies in America, even though they're not really our allies. Wait, can we invite them to our faction, maybe? 
Oh no. Oh yeah, wait, they are democratic, technically. That's kind of weird. Oh, and Great Britain joined us. Well, joined Germany, so technically joining us. That's it's not good for whenever we're gonna have to fight Germany, but it's good for now. <laughs> Oh, this is one I'm really happy that I'm not in Germany's faction, because they just randomly declared on the Soviets. They're not bordering them, so it's not that big of a deal, but that's kind of, that kind of sucks for them, honestly. Our war goal against Bulgaria isn't quite finished. I guess we could try to, like, go through Luxembourg or something? I don't really know what we're gonna be able to do here. And Great Britain is doing some good old classic imperialism against their, um, former friends. Um, but yeah, we're, we're kind of breaking Luxembourg. We're doing, we're doing a pretty good job. Our divisions are pretty decent. After I put some AT in them, they're a lot better, but I don't know if I'll be able to get into this city. Oh, I just realized that Great Britain is doing this. <laughs> Good job, Great Britain, good job. Yeah, the classic France, you know, with that divided government. Always capitulating like that. Oh well, now only if they weren't at war with the Soviet Union, then they would be in a really good position. But we'll probably use that to our advantage later when we have to deal with them. Because I assume Italy will probably join them and then we'll have to fight Italy for our coast. So, Poland joined the Comintern, which is kind of bad for Germany, but Germany's doing pretty well right now, so I honestly think they could take on the Soviets. I guess I kind of hope Bulgaria doesn't. Wait. Oh, wait, Bulgaria joined them. Oh. I justified this war goal and it took forever, but uh, okay, we'll just justify against Romania instead. And Romania also capitulated to us, naturally. We have a 45% compliance on them, too, so we'll, we'll just put the secret police around their country and and uh, we should be fine. I don't know, I think we have a lot of factories. Uh, not that, not actually that much. Uh, my only hope now is maybe if I declare on Italy, would Italy join like the Comintern or something so then Germany would be on our side against them? I, I don't know. I don't really know who to go after at this point. Okay, the Communist States of America one up here, so they're gonna be pretty dominant even though they're at war with all of Europe. It'll be interesting to see exactly what happens everywhere though. Uh, I really wanna go to war with the Axis, but I really just can't field that many divisions. Okay, and the Soviets are falling apart, so let's just join this war. We have a lot of allies that border the Soviet Union, so they only really benefit from this, right? We're doing it for them. <laughs> Capitulated. I don't think we can really get much unless we, yeah, well, I guess we can puppet them. Yeah, okay, these borders are kind of cursed, but yeah, at least we have Russia in our alliance, kind of. Wait, what's going on there in the Ukraine? Wait, what's... Russia? Oh, they've done it. <laughs> oh, yes, Russia united once more. Under our leadership, of course, under the... Islamic Union. Also, the people of the Balkans have decided to unite under Bosnia's banner. We're the best shot they've got. Uh, it's it's our only chance now. Oh no, Russia is just getting destroyed again. Uh, I thought I'd hope. I guess it could have been a lot better if I just waited. Then, but, but you know, I, I don't I don't have time to wait. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was interesting for sure. I had a, I had a fun time. It was it was quite something. But anyway, I guess I'll see you all next time.